one really disturbing statistic I've seen is that in a bunch of really important states, places like Georgia and Texas and Virginia and North Carolina, voter registration is way down. Um, mm -hmm. I've talked to voter registration groups across the country that had to suspend their in-person registration work because of uh, coronavirus. So I'm just wondering, um, how has it been in Wisconsin? What are you doing in terms of registration? And I imagine uh, millions of new people are going to want to participate in the process um, this year. So how are you trying to engage those new people? Yeah, I mean, we see it as, you know, kind of a one-two conversation about making sure that people are registered. If they need to register, being able to walk them through that over the phone or via text message, um, being able to help people navigate that process. And then also saying, great, how did you register? Request your ballots. Um, so we're able to have all of those conversations. Uh, we're, we're concerned about, um, you know, having people being purged from voter rolls. We're being concerned about all of those different tactics. Um, and so we actually... Um, are launching our third fellowship program. Uh, we did a, we do a fellowship program every year. Um, and this one in particular is going to be focused um, around voter registration. So our fellowship program will have 15 people. The first session will be at the mid July. And instead, in, instead of just learning just the basics of civics and the basics of organizing, they're going to get those skills, but they're also have three hours of what we call field work, which will now be a little bit more virtual. Um, but their three hours of field work is going to be dedicated to um, getting out information about how to register to vote um, and then absentee voting as well. So we're incorporating that um, into our, our programs. We still have ambassadors who are getting constantly trained. Um, our organizer, she physically has been walking people through how to um, how to register to vote in a lot of different cases. So we're making that a, a really big priority because we know some of the challenges and obstacles, whether it be people being purged from the voter rolls, voter registration, just not understanding how to um, upload a picture of your ID. We were getting reports that people were taking selfies instead of uploading pictures of their ID. So really doing everything that we can on that, te that technical aspect to make sure that people um, have everything that they need. And we're doing this sooner rather than later. So if there are any issues, we can troubleshoot it um, way in advance before election day.